What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I want to talk to you about why Walling is definitely the best hero. And the first thing I want to show you is the record for the fastest 15 kill free for all since they changed it to a 4 human format. And it actually was just ridiculous, and a lot of it might not even have anything to do with Walling and just time and place, but it definitely does help that Walling can one shot so quickly. And the biggest thing that no one really realizes is the fact that Walling doesn't have to reload is huge. You can kill many people all at once and never really have to worry about running out of ammo. And it doesn't take that long to draw your bow back. The some downsides are that if you're too close to a wall, you could end up hitting it, but there's ways to avoid that that I'll go over later in the video. But a lot of this is just absolutely absurd that it's even possible and to get so many kills so fast. I get the next five kills in like 10 seconds. It's absolutely stupid. And the worst thing is that I didn't like go for the kills. They just came to me or were far away. And that is where this character excels. Very good up close and still very good from far away. As you can see, I was able to get all the kills and do it in a minute 58 getting a 40% headshot rate, which, I mean, honestly, that game was nuts. So, it's not going to be your average game, but this is things that can be pretty average for Waling. What you want to do is you want to use your teammates for bait, and you are in charge of covering them. There is no excuses. You have to hit them with your slow, you have to hit them with your tornado, and you have to catch that flank every time. If you're level 10, you can catch people walking through walls because you can see them. So you can always know where they are, and it's your job to make sure your team's safe. Right here, I noticed they were coming from behind, so I went ahead, got behind, and got both of them for the five streak. And this character is great all by itself. Self, of course it's a sniper but you can get kills with aim assist with this character that's just kind of nutty as you can see you can shoot osis through the smoke a lot even if people are just right behind you like that yaw just an automatic turn on kill and right here i'm getting shot in the back from the christina so i angle myself to be away from it i'm gonna go wide angle to shoot that way i don't hit the car and we're able to get him. I don't know what he was doing, but uh, yeah. Anyways, we do get the kill, and that poor Christina just gets taken out again. We don't end up getting the kill on the Osus because the Mark stole it, but we are able to kill him through the smoke because of the aim assist on this character. It's kind of stupid. If you get close, it gives it to you. And that is what's so great. Right here, we can see him through the wall, and we're just going to jump and take a shot, and it goes pretty fast, but a lot of this has to do with aim assist and just getting it close also a lot of repetition i played a ton of games on walling and that's what you kind of have to do to get it all down but eventually your brain just knows how to move with it and get it close enough and then the game will do the rest but it can be hard to hit through walls right there i'm hitting the wall even though i'm not aiming at it and it does take time to get used to where you gotta be and what walls really matter and which ones don't and how to avoid them again i will point out what to do later in the video to avoid hitting the walls but as you can see it does so much damage and if you can just try to stay out of the way let your teammates take a lot of the attention you can cover them keep them alive and take everyone out and this character is just a great anchor player, similar to Scotty in a way of just being able to anchor and keep people off your team. Um, Osis is more of a sneaky character. You kind of want to play him in the back, but Walling, you can play him out in front with no problems. And the biggest thing that you got with the Walling is the fact that you can kill aggro characters like easily and aletta is not easy to kill on an osis like even if you're one of the best right here we're gonna make sure we go wide that way we don't get hit by the pole and we're gonna actually jerk to the left which i know it sounds weird but it does matter <laughs> it helps you get around the pole without hitting it but you also got to hit the guy himself and so sweep sniping with this character does help right there we were able to see him through the post so we know there's a johnny jet here and when we hit him with the feathers it explodes 
exposes him, and it shows him even when he's invisible because of the feathers around it. So if you ever see a Johnny Jet, hit him with your feathers, you'll get the kill every time. And right here, the Aletta's coming, we know it, we're ready for him, and we go ahead and hit him in the head. If you hit the Aletta with the feathers, they are done for. Easy kills every time, and then right here, we're just going to go ahead and take everyone else, because why not? We go ahead, kill the Iris, and then the Aletta tries to come back, we're going to go ahead and hit him in the body. If you don't get him on the first shot, hit him with the feathers, that can kill him most of the time. Right here, I go in with the feathers to slow him, because, I mean, that's what you want to do against a um, shell, but I suck, so I missed a bunch of shots, luckily it does work out, and right here, if you're ever near an edge, throw out your tornado, and half the time it will drop them off the map, as you can see here, and that kind of helped us a lot here, because I was still full health, didn't have to go risk myself, right here, I see where the guy is, I'm gonna drop down, he backs right up, we're gonna turn and immediately shoot him, and don't always wait for your bow to be full strength, it doesn't really matter, as long as you're getting the job done, right here, we are gonna be able to just take advantage of the fact that if you can lead your shots and a lot of it is just knowing where the person's gonna be and knowing how much damage you gotta do and all of these things do take time and it's something you're gonna have to practice to make this character what it can fully be which is for all of them but on this one you can get it down a lot easier than others because your gun skill doesn't actually matter as much as you might think as long as you can get it close it'll count and that is huge the biggest thing is the walls which we'll go into in just a minute but right here as you can see if somebody's coming up next to you all you got to do is turn on them immediately and then just let go right when it's close and even if you're not completely on their head it'll count most of the time and that's what makes this so much easier than osis because osis you have to be unbelievably precise in this character you just got to get close enough and that is what makes it the best hero, in my opinion, for the majority of players. Uh, there can be an argument made that things like Aletta, Scotty, and in some cases, Osis could be better players, and Zero Kelvin's kind of godlike from my experience so far. And there's some others that, if you have the skills, it could kind of be in the running. But, in my opinion, personally, this character is definitely the best. And you can see it right here. You were just doing so much damage. And the thing is, like, even these guys are afraid of you. And if you hit them with the feathers, they are absolutely screwed. And you can jump and hit your shots a lot. I know I just missed every shot, so I kind of sounds stupid I said that. But it is going to help it to where you're not going to get hit, but you can hit them. You need to practice this because it doesn't feel natural and it is hard at first. So go ahead and practice your jump shots. And if somebody's standing in a corner, or trying to hide from someone else don't worry about jump shotting just only if somebody's shooting you or you're already at low health then you should worry about just making sure you're jumping and just getting it down is important right here we do try to get both kills with our ult we can't but right here we are gonna end up killing the hunter in the moment i actually thought i had killed the christina i didn't realize i was shooting through two people's body dust uh, it was kind of nuts but we did end up getting the kill and we went ahead and won the game and right here is the most important thing when you're turning Turning around on Wa, you getting shot in the back, you have to turn as fast as possible and then line your shot up. You have to be quick but calm. Make sure that you're going with fast movements to get on target and then slow things down. Make sure you're aiming correctly. And that is probably the biggest thing that I can tell you that has helped me is knowing that get on the target as fast as possible and then you go ahead and shoot them. You might see and notice that I will linger on the target just a little bit when I am getting on them before I shoot. And the reason for that is I'm lining it up and then making it perfect and then shooting. You gotta go fast or they will kill you. So it's important to just do your best to go fast and make it work. Right here, we're gonna talk about walls. You gotta try not to hit them. And that's why you're gonna see me go further in that building than you'd really wanna go. And you just gotta take some risk because if you hit the wall, you're screwed. Right there is the best way to get around this. Jumping out will keep you away from the wall, and it is really good to get away from the wall, not just sideways, but at an angle uh, uh, vertically, because that will get you the most distance and matter the most. Right here is super important. We see where the hunter is through this, so I'm going to go ahead 
ahead and move away from the truck. And then I'm going to wait till right here to shoot. And the rule of thumb I like to use is the wall needs to be away from the line on the left as far as possible. And walls on your right tend really not to matter unless you screw up royally. So just make sure that that left line is not on their head. And I do like to sweep snipe with every character I use, the sniper. And so you'll see me jerking it over their head. You don't have to do that, especially with this character. I do it just because I'm used to it. And it does help some, but it's a lot harder. You can choose to do that if you want. But right here is super important. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that line is over by jerking it over and then going back over their heads with that jerk to the left. And that is a skill that I don't know how to teach exactly other than just playing a lot with wah and getting it down. Right here you can see I didn't have the line all the way and I shot the wall. And that's the thing that you got to pay attention to is it was barely on that line on the left. But anything on that little white line on the left is on a wall, you're screwed. And the best way to get it off that is to jump over it right here. We're going to jump. We're going to quickly go over their head. But we wait until it's perfect and then we shoot. That's the biggest thing is making sure you wait until it's perfect and then shoot. You can always get on them fast, but make sure you line it up and just kind of slow things down. You don't want to be too frantic with this character. One character you do want to be frantic is with Osis. But right here, what we're going to do is we're going to swing wide to the right, knowing that this wall's here. We're going to kind of go back, trying to hide from the Gloria until we can pull back our thing and are ready. And what happens next, I want to take credit for, but let's be real, I can't believe this actually worked. So I'm not going to tell you to try to do that because... um. Yeah, I can't believe it worked. But right here, we are at a terrible angle, and we are just making sure we line it up. As you can see, it doesn't matter that the right line is on the right wall. It only matters that the left line wasn't. And so that's all you got to focus on. When you're making sure not to hit walls, just focus on that left line. I know I keep saying it, but it's very important. Right here, we're seeing this guy through the wall. We're going to wait until he's fully exposed because you only really get that one shot before you're in danger. Because if he makes his shot, you can die instantly. And right here, this is the best part about aggro characters. You can kill them because this has the best aim assist in the world. I do shoot near his head. I jerk it over and it just hits. Like, I love it. And it is one of the reasons why Link is the best in the game. Just like Jordy is the best in the game when it comes to thumbnails. Well, look at this beautiful thumbnail he made. And if you want him to do it for you, go in my description and just go ahead and hit him up. Ask him what he wants for it. It's definitely worth it. Love working with the guy. Recommend him as much as possible. Definitely the best thing I ever did. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good night.